everybody, welcome back to Six Scale Reviews. It's Dan here, and today I've got another Six Scale figure unboxing for you guys. And today it is the Deadpool uh, Six Scale figure from the Deadpool 2 movie. And um, yeah, man, I've actually slept on this thing for a long time. Uh, I've been meaning to get it since it came out, but this is kind of one of those things that was never really on my priority list. And you know, now that he's sold out, he's going for kind of quite a bit of money, um, especially this one. Um, because it is the superior figure uh, in most people's opinion um because the other one's a bit dated and this one just it's it's dope man it is so cool um i'm just really glad that uh, i was able to get it um i got it for a good price uh and yeah um yeah, i'm really excited to get get into this figure i mean it's deadpool i mean there's just so many things you can do with this guy and yeah uh, let's just get into it man um as you can see here you know Deadpool being Deadpool, you know, uh, that's the little pony and whatnot. The front, pretty funny. Um, kind of more of his logos, bullets, and all kinds of, you know, wacky stuff. There's the X-Force logo back here. I mean, yeah, it's pretty dope, man. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it is just a slip cover. It just slips off like this. And you can see a bit of a preview of all the stuff in here. Um, <laughs> it says X-Trainee. That's hilarious. Um, has a bit of a, you know, the cast and crew and whatnot. Him holding the pony, you know, typical stuff. It's it's pretty dope, man. Um, but man, he comes with a whole bunch of accessories. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Um, let's open this guy up over here. You see here, whole bunch of whole bunch of hands. That I haven't even detached from it yet. You can see here a full array of hands, all bunch of accessories, and yeah, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything out on the table, and then we'll take a closer look at it. All right, everyone. Here is all of the accessories um, that this Deadpool comes with. Now, this is the backdrop that I didn't even know was in the box until I took all of this stuff out. So <laughs> I didn't mention it before, but here it is now. And it looks dope, man. This is only one of the few, like, backdrops I would actually display just because it looks cool. Because it kind of gives you that, like, you know, you can kind of make the shelves, like, his armory or whatever. Like, all this stuff stands on there pretty well. Um, it just looks cool, man. I mean, this thing's pretty big, though. I'm not sure if it's going to fit in the detolf, so that might be an issue, but we'll see. Um, but it looks great, man. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And, uh, you know, these things are being held by Magnet. Uh, behind it uh, the hanger comes with it uh, yeah it's just dope dude it's it's really cool um, but let's start with the hands first because I kind of want to talk about these uh, these are very nicely painted um, it also comes with two little mini uh, throwing knives that I'm probably never going to use so they're going to stay in the box um, the hands are very nicely painted they're they look very much like the gloves he wore in the movie. They look very realistic. Um, all kinds of hands, man. I mean, there's 10 of them right here, plus two more on the figure itself. 12 total, which is, like, not even heard of nowadays uh, for the figures we've been getting. You know, we'd be lucky to get, like, six of them. Um, but 12 for a figure, like, that needs, like, hands like that, It's that's awesome. Um really glad that you know i have the options to kind of do that so you know shout out to hot toys you know back when you guys used to give out a tremendous amount of hands um but yeah that's how they look i mean they're very nicely painted all the uh you know subtle detail work and scuffs and whatnot it just they look incredible man um but yeah there's that and he also comes with four sets of extra eyes which are all different all different emotions you know he's got his bored look over here you know a little more focused look more enraged look and then kind of more of silly eyes right here or a squinting you can kind of see there um just goofy man you can really make the sky come alive with all these different looks and that's awesome um it does come with this deadpool base which is pretty cool um Pretty standard, uh, you know, Hot Toys base, and they were doing these type, you know, the stabbing type or whatever. But it's pretty cool, fairly basic, just says Deadpool 2 on it, and, you know, him, Blood Splatter, whatnot. Nothing too crazy. Um, 
He does come with two of these uh, Desert Eagle pistols. If I can get this damn thing to focus. Desert Eagle pistols. Very nice. They're in black. I can't remember if this is actually accurate, though. Um, I thought they were more silver, but I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments. I thought they were silver, but here they're black. Um, and they do open and close and whatnot. Uh, oh, that's always cool. So shout out to, you know, Hot Toys always giving us good stuff with the weapons. Um, I do want to show you the heels that he does come with. Because in one of the scenes, he does actually... Uh, wear this thing wear these and is dancing with it so it's pretty hilarious that they went ahead and gave us this it's just it's funny as hell i mean come on deadpool and heels it's pretty hilarious um he also does come with the uh power uh dampener uh necklace which is cool it's a plastic it's a plastic e rubbery type of thing and it does kind of bend all it does is just snap together like this and then when you can see there, there's a hole that it just snaps into. Kind of hard to do on camera, but I got it. And this goes around his neck like that. So that's cool. Um, they didn't have to do, give that, but they totally did. I know it, Destiny Deadpool also comes with that. Uh, he also comes with this pony, uh, which is pretty, pretty hilarious. Um, it's nicely textured. It looks like a stuffed animal because it's supposed to be. But it's just kind of creepy creepy to look at yeah <laughs> yeah it's you know it's whatever um pretty funny though and last but not least we have the um, sheath it's pretty standard but what i do want to talk about are the blades themselves these blades themselves are die cast these are very much cool to the touch um they look great man they are die cast so they got some weight to it on the front um, and I was very surprised. I actually did not know that about this figure at all, um, coming into it. Um, yeah, they're die cast. Uh, it's kind of hard to catch on camera, um, how shiny they are, but they're very nice metallic color. Um, yeah, man, they are just, yeah, these are incredible. I, <laughs> it was a very nice surprise that we got, I got this in die cast. Very cool. Both swords. Um. Yeah, very happy with that. Uh, yeah, just a pleasant surprise as always. You know, I honestly didn't know that. And then we got this X Force or uh, this X Men trainee shirt. Pretty funny. It says trainee on the back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this thing's funny, man. It's cool. You can just slip this on. Very stretchy material. Not gonna damage the figure, and hopefully not leave a die on there. But yeah, you can just kind of display them like that. And I forgot there is also one more accessory. That I totally forgot um, was on. And that was this smaller little dagger piece right here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, this is not die cast, by the way. It's just, yeah, it's just plastic. But that's everything it comes with. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy and we'll take a closer look at him. And uh, yeah, let's see. All right, here he is Deadpool, up close and personal. And I just have to say, man, this figure is awesome. I can't believe I waited so long to get this. Um, I mean, the different materials, the color, the vibrant red. Um, the belt is real, made out of real pleather with real pouches. Um, I don't know if they open, but I'm not going to find out. Um, real pouches all along the belt. It's a pleather. It looks really good. I mean, Hot Toys did a fantastic job paint work, you know, painting. Um, just the, the attention to detail, man, it's always there, especially with these, um, you know, figures from a couple of years ago. They, you know, nowadays we've been getting a little bit more sculpted, uh, you know pouches which is fine because they look just as good but and you don't have to worry about messing it up which i'm a bit worried about for this one just because it's a dead point you know you can really pose them up but yeah i mean it's the level of detail you can see the carbon fiber on the holster you know it's very screen accurate man i mean the the pouches you know these are pleather as well um they do move a bit and yeah man uh all the way down to the boots the shin guards are like a different uh, type of red, more like a metallic-y, like, rose type of red color. And then you can see on the boots, they're dirty and grimy and just filthy. All the nicks and scratches and whatnot, the pitting. It looks really good, man. It looks like, 
like it's super realistic like it feels like i really have a shrunken down deadpool in my hands right now and um you know this thing is held on by a magnet it's very strong magnet which is very nice um to hold those die cast blades in there um yeah man this thing is dope dude um i am a bit worried about the pleather right here um on the inside just because that's where his shoulders are and typically when those are there if you're leaving a longer post you know leaving in a post for a long time it might start to crack and get dry but i'm not really too worried i mean i live in a pretty uh pretty decent climate um i don't have to worry about that kind of stuff too much but um yeah for those of you who have this figure and live in more dry or really humid places you probably you probably know how to take care of it you know i'm not gonna sit here and pretend i know how to just because my climate is uh you know it's very uh what's the word uh i can't even think of it right now but you know what i'm trying to say um but yeah this figure's dope man i mean the head sculpt i mean you can just see the attention to detail they went to you know it has all of the cross hatching and different you know even has a zipper right here for the suit but you can see that Hot Toys really, really killed it with the paint game because look how much detail is in here to give you more of that wrinkly look on the back of his head. Um, and you can see the ear detail right here and his jawline. They, they painted this amazingly. Like, it is so well done. Like I said, it feels like I really have a shrunken down version of Ryan Reynolds in the suit. And it's just, it's awesome, man. Um, I can't believe I slept on this for so long. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do some articulation on this guy. I know, you know, probably you guys have probably seen other reviews on this. You know, typically don't do uh, articulation for uh, older figures like this. But for this guy, why not? Um, shoulder goes out to there. Um, on the instructions, um, which, yes, I do read instructions, <laughs> as should most collectors. It says not to go past this, um, which I find a bit weird. But I see why, because this will start to dig. This is like a little pad. Might start to dig into the suit a bit, and you might stretch this seam out. You can see it's very tight already, just from it being like that. I do not want to rip that seam, so that's as far as I'm gonna go for that guy. Um, in terms of that, um, the head sculpt's on the one of those longer uh, connectors, so um, you know it's just swivel up and down. There's no separate joint here. Pretty standard um, with those kind of connectors. Got a nice two ab crunch got one right here and then one in the lower part very nice very smooth um the legs go out pretty decent almost 90 uh, just about 90 um with some creases right there but the suit's a bit loose so it's not going to be too bad hopefully it's just like i said pleather parts might be an issue goes out to about there and then when you split see he's kind of it's, it's kind of a tight fit so yeah, one leg at a time goes out to about only about there, which isn't very great, but you know it's workable. Um, the knees are on a soft ratchet, which is very nice, very nice feeling. As you can see, as the ratchet's back, um, double knee, double <laughs> double knee, double jointed knee. <laughs> Someone's gonna say something about that again. Um, and of course, we have the double ankle on the uh, you know bottom of the foot here. And yeah, these are removable, like I said, for the heels, so that's cool. And standard one six wrist peg um, for this guy. But yeah, man, this thing is awesome. I can't wait to pose it up, which is gonna be right now. All right, guys, here we are at the first pose, and I come up with something, you know, kind of goofy. Um, I have over here the zombie Deadpool um, by Hot Toys, and this thing is just—it's so fucking sick. I did a review on this already. Um, go ahead and check that out. I'll try to put it here in the corner somewhere um and yeah just you know just playing around deadpool afraid to shoot the zombie or whatever however you want to interpret that but yeah just something silly you know there's gonna be a lot of these so but yeah the zombie deadpool looks great i mean yeah there's just so much you can do with deadpool you know he can do anything um but yeah fucking on to the next one let's get it all right, here we are with the next pose, and I went ahead and put him with the Captain America shield, and yeah, man, it's just funny. He's a funny figure, and I have to be honest, it's kind of hard to uh, find things to do with him just because there's so many things to do with him, and uh, yeah, it's a little overwhelming to kind of think of something to do, um, but 
yeah, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more pictures on Instagram. I'm gonna be uh, posing this guy up a bit more. I'm going to do like one or two more poses in this video just to kind of keep it short. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, everyone. Here we are with the final pose of the evening, and I want something a little bit more uh, relatable to us collectors. Um, <laughs> Since Deadpool had his shelves, I made him a collector as well. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different stuff all along the walls, ranging from all the different universes, because we all know Deadpool can break the fourth wall. And yeah, and if you didn't know, Magneto Jetpacks do fit on Deadpool, as he is wearing Thanos' uh, helmet. And yeah, I decided it'd be pretty funny, pretty cool to do. Um... But yeah, as I said, going to be saving some uh, poses and whatnot for Instagram. So check out our Instagram to see more. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, we just recently hit 2,000 subscribers, and we do have a giveaway going on right now. And uh, yeah, just go visit our last live stream uh, for more details or check out our Instagram or our community page to uh, learn how to enter that giveaway. So yeah, once again, appreciate you guys for watching as always, and we will see you guys on the next video. And have a great night.